Paul, welcome to Vernon. Thanks. You must be delighted, relieved to get it over the line. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy week, especially once the press get a hold of it, you're you're sort of nervous and wanting it to happen, and everyone's asking you, and you you don't know what to say. So it's it's good to just get it over the line. It's felt like a, a long time coming. You're one of these boys that seems to be linked with Hibs every so often. Probably no small part due to the association with your your brother. But I mean, what does this move mean to you as a as, a, as an individual, as a as a family? Uh, well, as you said, with with John here, I came here quite a lot. I know how how big a club it can be. I was I was there that day on on the leaf walk or whatever with the with the bus, and I see how big a club can be. So it's exciting for me, and I did, hope to do anyone here as well with him. Did it take much of a sales pitch? Obviously, you and Jack have, have crossed paths before. <laughs> yeah, he signed me for St. Martin, funnily enough. So uh, and then left. It, and then left. Yeah, I think I got announced the same day he left. So uh, didn't quite quite cover the gap there, but. Uh, yeah, just it didn't take much. I was I was wanting it to happen. I'm a good age now. Hopefully, my best years here. What was the what was the message from Jack? Well, even if it was a 10 second sales pitch, what was the the gist of it? <laughs> he didn't even he didn't even really need need one. It was just saying we want to have you and, and would you want to and again through agents and whatever. Then and the message was yes. You must have well. Obviously, you you were you were keeping it come. You've you've helped make it happen in, in quick time. I mean, what's your impressions of the club? You've obviously had a great insight over the years. Oh look, well they've got everything. The the stadium's magnificent. The training ground's really good, and, and quite a lot of fans. And it's such a big club that I'm just ready to get going, and and hopefully I can go on the pitch quite pretty soon. Yeah, people think we. We ask you to say that the facilities are so good, so it's nice that you've said that without any prompting. <laughs> uh, you have had that different kind of insight to the club because you've been around it as a family. I mean, some of the highlights of John's time here, obviously culminating in winning the, the Scottish Cup. What was your recollection of, of that period as a as an onlooker? They just did a really good team, didn't they? The midfield sort of controlled things and they just had danger all over the pitch. and. Uh, we couldn't believe that we, you forget there was a league below that should never really have been there and, and I'm glad they're back where they, where they belong and and hopefully we can get the good things back. Even in terms of the scenes I suppose afterwards that must give any player an insight into what's what's possible here. Yeah, it was it was mad. Um, <laughs> that that whole that street, uh, just the whole day it was just a just a mad experience and and I'm sure John and still talks about it all the time and it's just uh, it was unbelievable. What's we brother been saying about this one then? He's been excited. Yeah, he has been. He's been. He's been texting me and phoning me, saying, "Wait, what's happening? Is it, is it going through?" And he still, still watches all the games and stuff. So it'll be good that he's got, he's got double reason to watch Hibs again. He wasn't threatening to intervene or make any phone calls or <laughs> insist on it happening. He still carries a lot of weight up here. Yeah, I'm sure he probably was, but not to me. So uh, no, he was just saying, "Look, look, they'll make it happen," and just relax, and it'll, it'll happen. I mean, you'll be a familiar face to a lot of people up here. You've come through the ranks, but for those that maybe haven't seen much yet, every player hates being asked to describe themselves, yeah. but how would you describe yourself? Uh, just sort of same as what most fullbacks are like here, attacking fullback, um, pretty quick, a uh, good reader of the game, and uh, maybe don't look as quick as what I am, but I actually I'm pretty quick, so uh, hopefully I can use that for, for good. And the benefit for us is often with January signings, they've maybe been out in the cold or they haven't been overly involved, so it takes a bit of time to get up to speed. But you'll, you'll be ready to hit the ground running. Yeah, definitely. Well, I've been playing all the all the positions recently, centre half, Ibrox left back against Kilmarnock, so uh, I imagine predominantly a right back here. Hopefully, so we'll, we'll see what happens. It feels as if you have. I mean, you have come up the hard way. You've played at different levels. Obviously, this is just the the next challenge for you, but. Does it feel as if you you've earned your earned your move here? It's come later for you than, than some people. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Look, um, yeah, I did really well at Dundee. I had I had a bad injury down the road, and it was probably a bit took me a while to get, get over that. And since then, I've played consistently well and managed to get play of the year at St Mirren. So I, I feel as if I earned it. Yeah. Good to know you've got a ready-made song already. <laughs> no, he can have that. We'll get a new one for me.